Okay, next is oral presentation 22. This is Colton County, South Carolina. This is a Mission 6 flight experiment going through flight safety review right now. Good afternoon. Our group is from Walterboro, South Carolina. Our question is, what is the effect of microgravity on milk spoilage? The co-principal investigators are Amber Avent, Bailey Crosby, Morgan Dandridge, Megan DeWitt, Casey, and Casey Powell. We are all sixth graders at Colton County Middle School. Next slide, please. Milk spoilage is the point at which milk becomes unwholesome. Milk will have a bad odor and form curdles. Conditions for milk spoilage are air, moisture, light, bacteria, fat content, and lactose. Next slide, please. Our pictures show the brand of milk we are using, Horizon Organic Ultra Pasteurized Milk. Ultra Pasteurized means that it's 99.9% .9 less bacteria. The picture underneath it shows the bacteria and through a microscope in the milk. The rest of the pictures show the milk curdling or rancid. Next slide. Rancid. Stages of soil, rancid, also called on the turn. Milk is still consumable at this stage. Curdling, the separation of curd and whey will occur but may still be consumable. Coagulation, beyond use. A period of aromatic decay sets in accompanied by mold. Dry, beyond use. The milk has dehydrated and become hard and chalky. Next slide. These are our materials that we are going to use on earth and on microgravity. The picture up top is of our FME, or fluid mixture enclosure. We're using a type three FME tube to hold all the milk. In volume one, we're going to have 2.5 milliliters of whole milk. In volume two, we're going to have the same amount, but of skim milk. And in volume three, we're going to have the same amount, but of 1%. We're also going to use refrigerator and or ice packs. Next slide, please. Our, the, these are our testing procedures on earth and on microgravity. Each type of milk, whole, skim, and 1% will be placed in FMEs the same day, 2.5 milliliters in each volume. It will be the same brand, Horizon Organic, ultra pasteurized with the same expiration date. It will be taken out of refrigeration the same amount of time, approximately six weeks prior to going to space. It will not need necessary interaction with spa in space. And to keep the milk from getting cross-contaminated, a pipette will be used to put the milk in, di in each volume. Next, please. Our hypothesis is, since we already know that there is more fat in whole milk, we believe the whole milk will spoil the fastest. However, we are unsure because of the rate of coliforms, bacteria, and lactic acid will vary in microgravity. Next slide, please. We conclude, since the project has not been tested in microgravity, we have no conclusion. The experiment will be tested while in microgravity counterpart is tested on Earth. Our data will be qualitative. We will compare the two FMEs and look using a microscope to see which type of milk has the most curdles, the most rancid odor, and what the texture is like. Next slide, please. We also did a ground truth experiment for one week. At the conclusion, our, our hypothesis was proven correct. The whole, the whole milk spoiled the fastest. It produced curdles and had a rancid odor. Our sponsors are Subaru, Palmetto Royal Telephone Company, Incorporative, the Intertech Group, National Center for Earth and Space Science Education, SCCMS, CASES, and our school. And a very special thanks to Dr. Jeff Goldstein and Stacy Hamill. Thank you very much, Colleton County, Stacy. Th thanks on behalf of, uh, of the entire SSEP team. Uh, does anybody have any questions for the Colleton County, South Carolina team? Hi, I'm Ashley from UMC, South Carolina, and I would like to know where y'all came up with the idea for this experiment. Well, the day before we did um, a brainstorm activity, we, um, our teacher told us about it. The activity was we got um, sticky notes and we put our idea for it and we stuck it on the board. And then the next day we decided which one we would do with our group. The day before we did it, I went home and I was getting something to eat and I thought, what about food spoilage? 
and people in our class were already doing food spoilage, so I decided to do milk. Thank you. I'm Raquel from St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So you're using the type 3 FME, correct? And you're going to have three of the different types of milk. How are you going to analyze them individually when you get back for the smell? We're, um, we're going to like open it and we're going to smell the odor and then like we will take it out, take the milk out one by one and then we're going to put gloves on and feel the So you can actually take it. them out one by one if yes, they're in the same tube? Okay, thanks. Hi, great job. Um, I'm Andrea from Tampa, Florida and I was just curious if you all had identified a specific temperature um, or the impact of different refrigerated temperatures on the milk and the spoilage? And if so, did you have any um, interesting results? Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat it? Sure. I was just wondering if you had factored in a specific temperature uh, in your research and whether or not different temperatures impacted the rate of spoilage. Well, we're going to um, put it in room temperature since it's ultra pasteurized and it won't the bacteria won't reproduce as fast and cold as it does in the um, room temperature. But ultra pasteurized has 99.9 .9 less bacteria, so it makes no difference. Thank you. I think you said that you were uh, packing with cold packs or ice packs. So are you, uh, this is going to be refrigerated up through the internet, up, up until delivery on the International Space Station, and then brought to room temperature, both ground truth and flight, flight uh, experiment, correct? Well, we're going to have the ice packs or refrigeration on the way there, and then while it's up in space, it won't have the right. ice packs or the refrigeration. Okay, let's thank the Colton County, South Carolina team. <laughs> <laughs>